everyone. My name is Kahina Ambartsumova. I'm woman grand master, international master in chess. And today my video lesson will be devoted to the topic of attack to the king position. But before to watch my lesson, please subscribe my channel on YouTube and on Twitch, and then you will never miss any updates. One of the methods to attack king position is to break his pawn structure. Then king will be bare and we will be able to attack immediately. Sometimes to do it, we can try to sacrifice any piece. But before to sacrifice, we need to estimate will be attack successful or not. Because at the final, we need to have enough pieces to checkmate. Let's see this position. Uh, this position uh, was played uh, against two grandmasters, Dreyf against Tsivekov, and here it was white to move. But before to start to find any move, let's estimate position. As we see, here we have opposite castling. White king is on queen side, black king is on king side. That's why, for sure, we have to think about attack always. Then we have a very strong bishop on this diagonal. King is a bit open already. You can see pawns uh, move to g6 and h6. Also, we have queen, which is looking for king already. And we can try to attack g6 in some moment. Also, we have some idea to attack g6 with h-pawn. And here it's time, you know, to think about concrete uh, ideas to attack king right now. It's important to see bishop f5 is a threat. Black wants to play bishop f5 to pin queen. That's why we cannot attack h5 immediately because of bishop f5. But still, g6 is one of the weakness. Because if we can bring queen to attack, it will be checkmate immediately. That's why it's so, so important to break pawn structure here. It's so important to attack g6 pawn. The question is how to do it. Uh, let's see. So here we have very, very beautiful move. Rook e6. White is ready to sacrifice a rook immediately. And... White wants to attack g6. So f takes g6, it's f takes e6 is not possible because of queen g6 checkmate. The only move to protect is king h7 if black doesn't want to take with bishop for sure. But let's see what happened if king h7 uh, black will move. Then we can play h5. Bishop is blocked where he's no bishop f5 idea. For example, if now bishop e6, then we can take. Again, not possible to take on e6. It's always checkmate queen g6. If black will move knight f6, then we can play knight g5. So beautiful attack. Now we have idea to open h file. For example, if h takes g5, we can play h, h takes g6, double check. King g8, then another check, rook f7, if king will go to g7, it's checkmate immediately, we have very, very strong bishop there, and if rook f7, then we can take, take, rook h7, another check, and after knight h7, we can checkmate by force, queen h7, how to defend, if queen e6, it's queen g6 simply, and then it's checkmate because the only move is queen f6 and then queen f6 checkmate. So white has a very, very strong attack because white has more pieces in attack than black has defenders. What to do? Bishop e6, it was played in the game and then simply d takes e6. So now we sacrificed exchange. And... Still, we want to attack g6. We want to break pawns 
um, we want to break pawn structure to take on f7 and then to attack on g6. If knight f6 in this position, we can still take on f7. If king will take on f7, then knight g5, very beautiful trick, because after h take g5, we can simply take. Now we have idea to take his knight on f6 and rook will come uh, via h7. So it's not possible to defend at all in this position. It's uh, just losing. And also we have some idea to check via b3. So, so many threats. So knight f6 is not good. Uh, let's see king h7. If king h7 still we can move h pawn to attack g6 one more time f5 h takes g6 king g6 knight h4 always uh, we are doing move with check then knight f5 and this position is losing because next move we will um, move knight and it will be discover check we want to take on h6 we want to take on d6 so not possible to defend Let's go back. So in the game, f5 happened, but after f5, h5. So still we have the same idea. We need to break pawn structure. We need to create bare king on g8. If black will move g5, then we can play e7. Beautiful trick. The reason to open this diagonal. So now after queen e7 we have bishop d5 check. If king will go to h7, we can play rook e1. Queen is under attack. And after queen d8, we can simply attack f5, bishop e6, and next move will be bishop f5. Black cannot defend this pawn. If black will take with bishop on e7, then we can play rook d1, queen. Uh, c7 then we have check king h7 and again the same idea to attack f5 after queen f4 we can attack f5 one more time with rook rook d5 and next move we'll, we will be able to take on f5 and position is losing we have very very strong attack so uh, g5 it's not possible in the game it happened g takes h5 but then we can bring we can bring the rook to attack rook h5 we want to take on f5 right now uh, if black will move rook c8 then we can take immediately we needn't react because the reason to break to break this pawn structure is to bring queen to g6 to checkmate king immediately so if rook c6 we can play rook f7 for example and then next move is queen g6 and it's checkmate rook f7 queen g6 king f8 and then queen f7 so not possible to take but after knight f6 we can play rook d5 some move if rook c7 still we have idea to to bring queen to play queen g6 check but if rook c7, we can play bishop e5 to attack bishop on the 6 So if rook c6, we will checkmate like this. Uh, queen g6, king h8, queen h6, king g8, queen g6, king h8, and then bishop f6. And rook will come to checkmate king via h5 square. Let's go back. So, so difficult to defend because black has not enough defenders. The problem is black pieces are totally outplayed. Black, black pieces um, are on queen side, not on king side. And king is uh, alone on g8. Uh, queen e7. Then knight h4 happened in the game. We want to take, we want to play queen g6. Queen e6. He played, but then knight f5. Knight f5, we have some idea to play knight h6. If rook f6, if he will try to give back his um, rook, 
we needn't take in this position, we can move, uh, for example, queen d1, one of the reasons, or we have some simple tactic <laughs> trick. Uh, you, can, you can think about it right now. So the trick is bishop d5, and after queen d5, simply knight e7 or knight h6. It's, uh, it's discover attack. So the game finished like this, because after bishop e5, we have the same idea. The game finished after bishop d5, a uh, small tactical trick, and after queen d5, knight e7 fork, and black will lose a queen. So the game finished like this, and it, it was possible because king was already not so safe, black pieces were outplayed on queen side, and it was important, because before to sacrifice something for attack, we need to estimate how many attackers uh, we have and how many defenders, how many defenders he has. So it's so important to estimate a position like this. And rook f6 was very, very strong move. Um, and the most common idea to attacking position is to break pawn structure. Thank you for your attention. I hope to see you again. Don't forget to subscribe. I will try to publish a lesson in English every week. And also I have Twitch channel where I will do some stream in English. So subscribe and see you next time. Thank you.